They need part time. Excellent. Dudes, welcome to this special edition of Dave Eats London. My name's Dave, and with me as always is Lucinda. Party on, Lucinda. Party on, Dave. Oh, today is the eve of the new cannabis legislation in Ontario, where cannabis will be available at stores. And you may want to try this place out after you've partaken in cannabis. So let's load up in the Mirthmobile and get out of here. Okay, we're good here at East Town Plaza on Dundas Street East at first. This is an old plaza. It used to be anchored by a grocery store. Uh, it still has a bunch of shops on the main floor. It used to have fabric land right there where that London Liquidation Center is. Now upstairs, they have a baseball training facility where the bowling alley used to be. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, we should probably go up and have a look at it sometime. The parking lot's full here all the time. So this place, I think, is the place that's really doing the business in this plaza. So we'll move along down the plaza and we'll have a look and see what else is here. Now right here is where the Compassion Club used to be. It was the marijuana dispensary that used to be open in this plaza. Two doors down from here is the restaurant we're going to. Now this place sells papers and bonds at the other end of the plaza. So right here is the luxurious patio for the restaurant we're going to. Nice place. And this is the place. Stoner's Grub House. Fitting name for being down from the dispensary. Let's go in and have a look at this place. Now this is a small place. Um, there's not a lot of room in here. Now, Did that's the owner. Time? Yeah. He's going to tell us to look at the menu down here. More. It's I'll more up to date. Well, let's have a look at this one and we'll see what we're going to get to eat. Now, this is your typical uh, pizza place. It sells nachos. Uh, it has some specials, as you can see there. They're going to sell pizza, pasta, submarine sandwiches, uh, called Atomic Subs, Panzerati's. Cooler was warm. The pop wasn't cold in there. I had my hand in there. Uh, maybe a couple of things broken in this place, but let's try the food and we'll judge it on that. That's probably why it's called the Stoner's Grub House. All right, now this is Stoner's Grub House. We couldn't eat inside. They don't have any room to eat in there. They barely got enough room for two customers to stand in there. So we got it out here in the car. Let's open it up. This is a Philly cheesesteak sub. He makes his own bread, fresh. Uh, the sub, it's got some weight to it. I'm telling you, it's not a light sub. So there's what it looks like. Open it up for you. Cheese, mushroom, peppers, onions, uh, Philly cheesesteak, roast beef, whatever they want to call it. So, take a bite of this thing. All right, we'll see if we can do that here in the Mirthmobile today. All right, so here we go. Not bad. A little dry, maybe. Maybe slightly unseasoned, but pretty good. All right, and we also got a small pizza. Now, this is their Chicago style pizza. They sell pizza with poutine on it, they sell pizza with just about everything on it. It is Stoner's Grub House. There's going to be some weird things. Let's have a look at the Chicago style deep dish pizza. This box is locked up here tight. There we go. It's almost like a Panzerati. It's got a crust top and bottom. It's got sauce with it. Um, so, what do we do? Just take a bite? Here's a small piece right here. Let's have a look at this thing. So, we got meatballs in this thing. We got gyro meat. We got Philly cheesesteak meat. We got bacon in it. The options are kind of strange here. But... We got the sauce here. Let's try the pizza here first alone. It's got Parmesan cheese on top. There's a lot there. It's very heavy. It's got some flavor to it. Let's try it with the sauce. Sauce is cold. I think the sauce should be hot. That's what I think. It's marinara sauce. Who serves marinara sauce cold? But 
Tastes all right. Tastes good. Hey, we came back to the studio. We ate some pizza. We ate some of the sandwich. I lost my mullet. Let's talk about this restaurant. Yelp gives it four stars. They have five reviews. So there was nothing on there from TripAdvisor. So we had a sub, one of their atomic subs, they call them. We had one of their premium subs, which is a Philly cheesesteak. Now they do make their own bread. It tastes like if it's not pizza dough, it's very close to pizza dough. But that doesn't mean it wasn't good. It was delicious. It was a little heavy. And for 12 bucks, I'm telling you, you can feed two people with that sub easy. It was huge. There's still half of it in the refrigerator if you want to come over and have some. So, we had some Chicago-style pizza. Uh, it was different with the crust on top. Now, that was a small pizza. Now, it wasn't cheap for a small pizza. It was 21 bucks, but that thing weighed two and a half pounds. Now, I know there's a lot of dough there, but there was a pile of cheese, and it was pretty good. Now, it wasn't out of this world, but maybe if you go to the new cannabis store, it will be. So, um, that being said, we did get one more thing to try when we were there. Uh, he sells one kind of chocolate bar. It's called No Henry 420 Bar. Kind of fitting for Stoner's Grub House, I guess. Now this thing uh, is a special edition. It's supposed to be when you get the munchies after you go to the cannabis store. You go there and have your 420 and 425, you're ready to try it. So let's, let's try this thing and see what it tastes like. So, it doesn't look like an O. Henry. I would say it looks like a, a payday. It looks like caramel and peanuts. It's salty, there's peanuts. God, you might have to smoke a couple of joints to make this thing taste better, but. Well, that's it for today. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you soon on Dave Eats London.